Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Chris, and of course, this is my channel, Barnon 11970 Thank you, as always, for checking out my video. All right, guys, one of the things I will not be doing today that probably millions of people are doing is running from store to store, trampling over fellow human beings to try and get a $5 toaster. Uh, today is Black Friday, and um, it basically shows that the sheep are going to go run around and go crazy. So if you're one of the people that decided that trampling people is a fun thing to do, you will probably not see this until later on today. But I can pretty much tell you another another distraction that is right now plummeting gold and silver, which, um, well, I'll post the link below, but I'm going to read some of it. Um, this happened earlier today. Uh, the decision on Friday by the Federal Reserve Bank of India to remove its 80-20 rule on gold is surprising, UBS said. It is the fact that prices have not rebounded on the news. The country's central bank has scrapped the legislation that made it mandatory for companies to export 20% of any imported gold with immediate effect. UBS has expected the RBI to tighten regulation, the broker said in a note on Friday. This is in quotes. We were certainly not alone in this line of thinking, in quotes, UBS said. And then quote, local market participants had mentioned the possibility of un upright I'm sorry, outright import quotas, which would be considerably negative development for gold. Import quotas would give the government the ability to explicitly determine how much gold can enter the country. If concerns on the current amount account deficit are elevated, then it could mean a very small quota, therefore would be very restrictive, end quote. The, R the RBI's withdrawal of that rule may have influenced by its slump in oil prices following OPEC's decision not to make any cuts in oil production, UBS suggested. <clears throat> in quotes, a lower oil import bill helps to ease the pressure on current account deficit, allowing the government a bit more wiggle room, the Swiss bank said. Interesting that they're involved in that. India's trade deficit was $13.4 billion in October down from $14.2 billion in September, but up from $10.8 billion in August. Uh, let's see. Here we go. I'm going to skip down a little bit. The removal of the main constraint on the supply chain should be positive for gold as it frees up the initial flow of metal into India, where the appetite has remained quite healthy, end quote. But the lack of response of the news is also understandable because investors are cautious about jumping into conclusions. All right, I'm going to leave it there. So basically what they're telling you is this rule should make gold and silver go the exact opposite. But if you remember the video I made a month ago about our November 30th, which is only two days away, um, the um, vote that's going on in Switzerland, I said there were going to be distractions. And lo and behold, what do we have now? A second distraction. Um, this is not a, one like in Ferguson where it's going to be all over the news. But um, right before, two days before this vote, we see gold currently down almost $20 at 1169 Silver's down almost 75 cents at 1550 uh, Platinum's down 13 and Palladium is actually up 4 so it's regaining a lot. So this would be an interesting time. It does not surprise me that they're going to try and have any distractions that they can to keep people from thinking about this. Um, Two days from now on Sunday, vote. Now, the vote won't come out until at least the first, so we'll see what happens there. And um, who knows? Maybe they think that there is going to be a yes vote, and if that bank is going to have to buy gold, well, if they hammer the price, they'll be able to get it. So who knows at this point? It's anybody's guess, and that's pretty much all it is at this point. But um, unfortunately, people love to be distracted. So today, all the way through the weekend, people are going to be rushing just from store to store, fighting fellow humans to get a couple of dollars off something that they could probably get later on in the year anyway, and it's usually the stuff that they can't sell, so they want to get rid of it. And instead of that, instead of paying attention to important news, that's what they're going to do today. So I don't partake in that stuff. I'm not one of those people that's going to go rush into a store and try and fight people to, to get probably what they have a limited supply of anywhere from three to five of them and there's 50,000 people fighting over it no thanks so thanks for watching guys let me know what you think and um pay attention to this november 30th uh, referendum over in switzerland that's going to really affect potentially the price of gold depending on if it's a legit vote 
or is it manipulated? To your guess. Leave your comment what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day and be safe out there. Peace.